Hello and uh, welcome back to another video. After watching uh, Film Flick's video yesterday about his most recent pickups, I noticed I had a few because I was adding some stuff to the letterbox list and so I thought I'd talk through them. Uh, four arrows, one BFI and just three normal Blu rays. Two of them are from Poundland, but I'll tell you which ones are them. But yeah, so um, let's get on to it. First is a film I watched last night with my mother for the uh, first viewing Snowpiercer. I Bong Joon Ho, probably my least favourite Bong Joon Ho film. Maybe I no, it might be a bit of an aperture. I don't know exactly sure, but I shall have Barking Dogs Never Bite up there to watch. I find this film just sort of lacklustre for me. Like when I watch a Bong film, like especially Memories of Murder, it leaves me there, and I'm I can't believe what I've just watched. This. I don't know, I think it might have been maybe like producers and things like that controlling him, but it just doesn't feel like one of his films. And I just, I know some people love it, some people don't like it. I just find it very in the middle of the road. Give it a 3 out of 5 on letterbox. Uh, the two next two are from Poundland, and the first one was The Hobbit Desolation of Smaug. Don't plan on time watching this anytime soon because I think it's dreadful. From what I can remember, the only time I've watched this and the third one are in the cinemas, and I watched the first one again recently because I thought, oh, I'll, I'll rewatch them. I'll give them a second chance. Watch the first one. I couldn't even put this on. That says something about them. Just leave, put the Lord of the Rings on, and forget about these films. Read the book. The book is fantastic. But yeah, picked up two pounds. Thought oh, I'll have it because I might rewatch it soon. So yeah, I thought I'd just pick it up. Uh, after seeing everyone talk about these kind of uh, films by The Great. Why am I going... Oh my god, my brain's gone. My brain has actually gone. Danny Boyle, he says there. Everyone's been talking about Danny Boyle recently. Like Shallow Grave and Trainspotting and things like that. thought I'd pick up Slumdog Millionaire from Poundland because I need to rewatch it. I remember it being entertaining and enjoyment, but I just I remember just watching it quite a few times in school and I think that's really put me off rewatching it. So I'll be rewatching this again soon. A film I plan to watch today is a film I saw at Leeds Film Festival. I've spoken about it before in my BFI collection video. If you haven't checked it out, somewhere on my channel. It's got like my my boutique collection or something like that, I don't know. I don't really care. But it, this is bait. A gritty, dark British film I absolutely loved and adored. It's it's different, and I think that's what really helps it in this. It's only excuse me, eighty nine minutes long, and it's just brilliant. I really enjoyed it, and I can't wait to watch it today. I might watch it this afternoon or this evening. Depends. I know there's quite a few live streams on going at the moment, so. Sit on one, watch one of them instead, but you never know. But yeah, bait. If you haven't seen it, I recommend it. I think it's on the BFI channel, and it's on something else. Might be a recur or something like that. But yeah, I highly recommend it. It's different. It's dark. It's British, and I just love that. Big up the British films. So now we're moving on to the last four, and they're all by one director who I love at the moment. I've only just got into the last nine, six months ago. And, uh, yeah, um, I've seen a few of his films, like Inchy the Killer, and that's it, I think. No, I've seen some other ones, but I can't remember. But, I am, uh, I did pick up another one of his films up, I completely forgot to put, put in the pile, if I can get to it. This is the thing about having tons of Blu-rays now, I know that I'm not going to shelf in, it's hard to get to. Uh about this first love Takashi Miike I've been wanting to pick this up for a long long time it's been on my watch list it since it's came out keep seeing the HV but keep seeing the price of it being like 13 quid and I'm like don't think I can push that far for a yellow disc I think it's pretty cool but it is in a really slim case and I hate these kind of cases but I can't wait to watch this because this looks crazy Best true man's roof you'll ever see. It's just, as all the Cash and Mickey films, I think it's going to be 
batshit crazy and I can't wait to watch it. And uh, I'll sort that out after. Uh, the other one was a film I think I talked about in my Arrow collection, Blade of Immortal. Bought this for myself. Um, and yeah, uh, it just ended up borrowing it to my uncle and never got it back, so I decided to pick it up. Give it a rewatch. Oh, just a watch for the first time. Love to cash me kit, and I think this is going to be really cool. As it says at the bottom, to save her life, he will have to take thousands of us. And I think it's about Samurai gets told to protect this girl, and thousands of people come and try and kill her or him because he's defending her. And it just looks really badass. I'll do a bonus thing at the end. I won't plan on doing this, but I can see it right next to me, and I thought I'd talk about it just now. But yeah, break the video a bit longer. The happiness of the colour guys. The best musical you will ever watch in your life. Forget about Greatest Showman. Forget about Les Mis. Forget about all the other ones I've never heard. Rocket Horror Show, stuff like that. This is brilliant and it's different and I loved it when I first watched it. Set in the middle of nowhere. These family run a hotel and they kill people. That's not just it. They bury them in the back garden. What happens to the bodies? They turn into zombies. And it's got musical all the way through sort of jokes about the sound of music and things like that like as you can see the sound of music and that's one of the songs of them singing and it's it's a hilarious film Takashi Miki again doing some batshit crazy stuff and I just love what he does and yeah got a big recommend him too much film I think I also talked about about my mate Will bought it for him so it's going cheap on eBay. Should have bought him probably this version. Oh, from eBay. It would have saved me about 10 quid. But still, I can't wait to watch this. Again, this looks batshit crazy. Like most of Kashi Amike films. And then I saw someone in the Big Poly or Blue View. Or Blue View. Oh, God. Uh, one of the group Facebook group chats. I think most people who have subbed to, subbed to my channel are in it. Talking about this. Black Society Trilogy, and this is Takashi Miike's, so he did, basically, this is behind time he started becoming big, he was doing straight to direct DVD sort of films and stuff, and weren't getting that credit, and then these came out, and they sort of put him in the right direction of creating all the films I talked about, I think he's a really, this looks really cool, they're not amazingly high rated, but I think... I just love Takashi Miki, I think I'm going to really enjoy these. And the bonus thing, it's a DVD sadly, but I was in CEX one day and I didn't really know who Takashi Miki was. I still haven't seen this film. I picked up this. It's probably one of my pride possessions. It's Zinchi. It's a remake, I think. But in this tin, just in my plain black uh, DVD box. And a double disc, and you get what's cool, you get art cards, and if you can see that, you get a shot, a thing because it was shot on film, you get a frame, and I think that's pretty cool. And some art cards, I think that's I just thought I'd add this onto the end of the video because it's something pretty cool. And again, I'll quickly show the cover because I think it's a really cool cover. There's the back if you want to see it. Not the best condition, but I think I got it for like 50p from CEX. And it's badass. But anyway, uh, that was a quick short little video. I'm thinking of doing a series of films I think people need to watch. Like, not like Terminator and things like that. I plan to do like alternative sort of films that not, not enough people talk about. And it'll do. I might do the first episode this afternoon. Depends how. Well, I think I will do it. I just need to make sure I get enough content released because I don't want to start slowing down. But, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it and smash the like button, subscribe, and have a lovely day. Oh, try your best with this current situation. Uh, peace and love and all that shit. See ya.